Okay, so I'm here with my engine builder. <laughs> We're gonna be cutting the valves. Joe's just getting the valve grinder set up. Take off your shirt, I need a rag. You see how, you see how I got the face here? Mm -hmm. And as you went around, you hear the ching, ching, ching. Mm -hmm. You see where it missed it? Mm. Right there, that's where it's not sealing. That's where it's not true. But look at that, you see how flat and surface that is? Nice and clean and shiny. That's all we're trying to do is just, just basically kiss these things. So this is the face of the valve, right. which we're cutting at 45. Yep. And then after we cut the 45, we will back cut right. at a... Maybe a 15 degree angle to cut some of the back edge off of that. Okay. So... It's a constant humming ring. All you really need to do. Now, does it matter if you cut the face or the back cut first, or it doesn't? I guess it really doesn't matter, but you definitely want to do the, you know, face is usually first. Okay. And, and that's really, that's what meets with the seat, so that's right. what's most important. Right. And then, uh, I have a Sharpie. Okay. So you just sharpied the face of the valve. Yeah. see on camera and I probably just wiped some of that marker off no but you can see you got the margin there real nice and clean mm -hmm. okay as you cut this surface down you'll lose this margin and there's a minimum spec for that okay but this has got a ton of meat on it mm -hmm. now you got that 45 going up and just that ever so slight 30 that we touched earlier mm -hmm. so now what we could do is go back and uh, we could take this and set this machine for like, you know, 10, I think how far back it go. It goes 30, but you can just take it all the way back to this. Let's see. Do they have a 20? I don't think so. I think 30 is the closest cut you can get. But I guess it really, I don't think it really matters. Because you can just cut that angle at kind of whatever. As mm -hmm. long as it's shorter than that, mm -hmm. 45. So... we can get it in there. Now ideally once we get this set we'll do all our face cuts. Correct. And then go back and do all our back cuts. Right. 
we're just this is the first veil we're seeing which we're just one kind of playing with it yeah so i'm going to i'm just going to tighten this thing up at below 30 degrees okay so we know that's somewhere below 30 again it doesn't matter you're just trying to like just trying to get rid of some of that that ramp lip that comes up yeah. right at the edge so let me uh throw See with all the shit on there. But you can kind of see the the two cuts in the line. There's some of that sharpie up there, and then there's that, that like less than 30 cut. Mm -hmm. You see that inner shiny ring, and then you got the marker still here. Mm -hmm. and I can wipe it off. So basically, there's your 45, and then there's a back cut to get get rid of some of that that ridge that was sticking up here. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, this thing, this is an old valve cutting machine and, you know, newer valves are not really shaped like this no more, but you can kind of see it there. You see it? See the two angles? Oh, yeah. Right there and there. Yep. 45 and then, the back. let's call it 25. Look. Right. Now you could do, you could bring it out to 60 or 75 and cut, you know, a touch off of that angle and real put a real narrow face on that but you know for your motor I don't you really yeah, see need to do any of that stuff we're just going to basically cut the 45s and call it a day and all we're really trying to do here is get these get valves to seat as tight as possible onto the head yeah right? they, they weren't in bad shape there's a few of them that were kind of pukey but mm -hmm. uh, I mean given the age of the engine so done deal all right so I'd consider you know done all right there's one. 15, 15 more, more to 15 more to go. Well, I think once we get a thing, like you said, we'll do all. I guess there's a before and after. One cut. A, yeah, let's see here. Hard to see in the line. See, there's the there's that top little ridge, and we just cut that off. Oh, wait, it's hard wait, to, wait. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus in here. So the uh, uncut ones at the bottom. Mm -hmm. See if you can lay them down again on that. Just like that. Yeah, let's see. You can see it right there. This this 45 just comes up to like a peak, uh -huh. and then it goes into that rough cast stuff. And this one comes up, and we kind of cut that yes. peak down off of this one. So it's a little bit smoother than than this one, as far as a curvature of the valve. Mm -hmm. so. Not that it's going to make much of a difference, because you're you kind of drive like a wuss. <laughs> so. Once again, they're out. I guess it's more of the... Might as well do it. You know, the learning experience of it, so... Alright, let's get to it. So, we'll cut all the 45s, and then we'll cut the other ones later. If we so choose to. Alright. Okay, so you just seen me and Joe using the valve grinder to resurface the valves. Uh, what we did was we ground down the face of all the valves. So what I have here is an intake and an exhaust. You can see the face of the valve. Very new, clean, shiny, true. So originally we were going to go through and back cut all these valves. But you know once we were 
talking about and getting through just cutting the faces of it we decide I think we're just gonna stop here um, back cutting would add you know a little I guess arguably a little bit of performance if you get rid of that lip and you know the airflow in and out is a little better but for the application that we're doing this is just going to be a, a street cruiser uh, it's not a race engine we weren't really going to gain that much at all and we just figured okay we're, we took it far enough the face is the most important part to make sure that it's going to seat properly so we didn't end up back cutting any. Uh, we did do one for a demonstration just for the sake of doing it. Uh, so we have all 16 valves uh, resurfaced on the face. So these are ready for reinstallation. Subscribe to Rick Quadruple Zero for future installments of this 440 build. And ultimately it will be put back in a 1968 Chrysler 300. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Take it easy. Get a muscle car, they said, right? <laughs> this is for like Kevin's word have never been so true. Get a muscle car, it'll be so fun, man. Cruise all over, yeah. Yeah, hours of grinding Hours valves. Of grinding valves and toothbrushing blocks. It's the best. It's so fun. And then when I can drive the friggin' thing, then we get to see what's gonna break on it next. It's like just nonstop fun. <laughs>